Question 4. For which values of x will the inverse of f be smaller than 0? Now here's a better sketch of the inverse of f. And we'll read off the values on the y-axis. Now we want those values to be smaller than 0. In other words, we are going to look at these values all those down here and what must x then be so that I can read off from the lower part of this well we can see that x each time is going to have to be values that are larger than that point from this point to the right and that point where I cut the x-axis is the point 1 for x okay. which means that x must be larger or equal to sorry I forgot the equal to larger or equal to because it's allowed to be equal to 0 to 1 